Okay, today we have a HP ProLiant ML 110 G5 server. Uh, now, unfortunately, there isn't really much going on in the video portion of this uh, video. We're just going to be uh, staring at the uh, fr front side, the, the front face of the server. There's really nothing going on with this machine. It's more audio than video. Anyhow, so let's talk uh, briefly about the server. It is uh, their Generation 5, which is G5 server, comes with a Xeon, single Xeon CPU. Uh, Geekbench score, I believe, was somewhere around 3600. I'll post that in the uh, full review. Comes with 4 gig of RAM and uh, two serial ATA 160 gigabyte hard drives. So you can uh, either RAID for striping or mirroring. And uh, this particular server comes with Microsoft Windows Server 2008 Foundation, uh, which has you know some limitations, but it is actually quite nice for um, just a member server or when you need a server that does minimal work or a dedicated um, function that does not require a whole lot of horsepower or you know bells and whistles that. Um, higher edition Windows Server comes in, it will fit the bill very well. This particular server is being deployed to a small business where they, they have uh, three users, so it's going to fit the bill just fine. And um, inside, engineering is very nicely done and um, just has all the you know standard ports that you would expect out of a server. Um, Traditionally, the ProLiant servers obviously are uh, very well known in corporate computing environment, and this one does not disappoint. I have used ML110 series servers for many years now, and uh, this is another server at a very uh, good price. It is at around $900 street price, and um, I typically leave servers around 36 month lifespan, and um, it will more than uh, more than pay for itself during that time. So that is my brief review of HP ProLion ML110 G5 server.